and we'll go back to the lecture. So what else we have to deal with? Um, there is just one note about the issues. Uh, we said all the issues related to labs should be posted into the uh, course issue tracker. Uh, I will, for the next follow-up follow labs, I will try to uh, disable the issue tracker for the lab such that we force it. Uh, in the lab four, we will talk it a little bit tomorrow. Uh, there was one issue posted into the lab. Yeah, it's it's fine but we try to keep the questions related to labs in the course. Um, what else? Um, the SDL, yeah. So uh, if I go to the repo, most a lot of people have problems dealing with the SDL hello. Uh, those of you who did Linux or Mac, I assume you got it working. And most people who don't use Mac or uh, Linux had trouble. Uh, so who is using Windows for the course? Uh, so most of you, and you don't have it working, right? Who has it working on Windows? Not a single soul. So that is a problem. Uh, unfortunately, I in the last uh, two weeks, I was not at home and I didn't have access to a Windows box. So what I will try to do is I will try to um, uh, see if I can get it working. And then if I can get it working, then I will tell you how I managed. Uh, if I cannot get it working, then uh, we will have to think of an alternative UI toolkit for the course such that the Windows people also can use it. Um, I've tried to, I told you, I, I've used, um, what was the other one I've used? I've used another library and um, I had a really hard time getting it to work on Mac and eventually I got it compiled, but kind of crash um, with segmentation faults. Uh, I guess it's, it relates to the um, incompatibility between the dependencies. So we will have to think of something because I really would like to for us to use a GUI uh, library for uh, for assignment one. Uh, so we will see how, how it goes. I, I didn't do it yet. Um, for Mac and for Linux, I think, who has it going on Mac or on Linux? Yeah, it's relatively straightforward. It is an option. There was a suggestion that maybe we just use uh, VMs and everybody will use Linux. Um, we could do that, but then again, it might be nice if we have it going on, on Windows as well. Um, if we were to get the VMs, I can ask um, uh, the tech support to give us some VMs and people who want to use Linux to have access to Linux uh, server. Um, the pro problem with Linux server is that we kind of want to use it in a kind of a graphical um, interface and then running GUI from the server on your own kind of a desktop laptop is a little bit complicated in itself. It, it's doable, but it's not as nice as having it kind of local. Um, there is an additional layer of kind of uh, complexity for the X server to be conveying the images uh, and the GUI into your terminal. So I would probably like to avoid that. If you were doing things like in uh, cloud computing where most of the programming is done server-wise, uh, then it's fine because you don't really need the GUI, but for us, we kind of like to have a GUI. So let, let me think about it. So I will come back to that tomorrow uh, in, in the lab. I will try today to see what I can get going. Um, what else do we need to discuss today? Any questions? Deadlines, right. So there was a question about deadline for assignment one. Um, what is the good time for you guys? It is it is kind of a bigish task, yes. Um, So let me see, we have, hmm. 
we have time until the beginning of May. We need So if we So it's one, two, three, four. Five weeks. If we do five weeks, it will be around twenty uh, second of April. Uh, sorry, of March, uh, and then we'll have one, two, three, four, five weeks for the second assignment, roughly speaking. So it kind of, if we want to, you know, uniformly split it between the two assignments, we would have to aim at about five weeks for assignment one. We can make it a little bit longer and I can pause the assignment to a bit earlier such that both assignments have a bit more time, but they will overlap, right? Which probably is okay. Um, so we could probably go until 29th, maybe of March. So that gives you six weeks. So, we don't have to decide it right now. What I suggest is you check what your deadlines are for the other courses when you have the deadlines for the other courses. And then you, uh, one of you proposes the time for the in the issue tracker for the assignment one. And then I will hear your voice. It's entirely up to you, like uh, how you want to do it. From my side, what I want is I want around two weeks for the peer review, for people reviewing or assessing the other people's work. So we need to finish assignment one and assignment two around two, three weeks before the end of the course uh, at the latest, such that we have those two, say two and a bit weeks for the people to be able to assess uh, each other and check each other uh, implementations. Uh, but other than that, it's it's entirely up to you. And I don't want to co conflict with the other courses that you have because you will have other projects and some of the courses have a bit of a bigger project. I, I think AI may be one of those courses. And I know Christopher assignments are also a little bit biggish, especially the later ones. Um, so it's up to you. Um, I, I am kind of recommending maybe five or six weeks as a reasonable deadline. Uh, it it assignment one is a little bit complex, but um, at the same time, I will try to align the labs that we do uh, for next week. Like the, the, this lab, lab four was already aligned with this a little bit, and we will do a little bit more labs aligned with the GUI, uh, such that everybody is kind of uh, has the skills to do the GUI for the project as well. Uh, so the labs will be aligned a little bit with assignment one. Uh, such that you can kind of uh, piggyback some of the work. Um, so maybe five weeks is sufficient. But then again, I don't know your workload with the other assignment. So you will have to help me with the decision. So is it okay? Uh, somebody will post a suggested deadline and then everybody will express if that is okay or not. Make sense? All right, so we have a plan and uh, I will finish here and then we'll meet tomorrow and I will talk about lab four and I will talk about the SDL for Windows. I, I hope to um, get it working. We had it, you know, worked quite well uh, about two years ago. So I'm hoping it should not be a big, a big problem, but given the feedback that we're getting so far, it may be a problem. So we'll see. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.